Hello, and welcome to Homeschool Testing Services video on how to download the secure browser and add it to your desktop for the Stanford 10. In this video, we're going to show you where to find the secure browser online, how to download it, and then also how to add it to your desktop so your student can find it quickly and easily on testing day. The first thing that you want to do is open up Microsoft Edge. This is the preferred browser of the Stanford 10 and the one that won't give you any error codes. So this is your headache free download browser here. And once you get to the address bar, we're going to type in the word Pearson, P-E-A-R-S-O-N dot program workshop, all one word, no spaces, dot com. So once again, that's Pearson dot program workshop dot com. And I'm going to click enter. And that is going to bring me here to this screen. Now, a lot of parents get tripped up by this green box here on the left side of the screen. We are going to completely ignore that. You do not need to log in for what we're going to do today. We're actually only interested in this blue menu bar at the top. So the check readiness option is what you would select first before downloading the secure browser to make sure that your computer is capable of running the secure browser successfully. The next option over, download secure browser, is the one that we're going to be working with today. So I'm going to click on that. Now, if you're running a Windows computer, you can simply click download right here. If you have a Mac, you would click show all platforms and then secure browser for Mac is the first option here. We're going to click show instructions and there's your download button there. Now I'm on a Windows computer, so I'm going to click show instructions and download. And you can see at the bottom left of my screen that Pearson browser is downloading. Once it stops flashing, I know that it's ready for me to access. So I'm going to click on this button pull up this menu and it says show in folder. Now basically I'm asking the computer to show me where it has placed that download. So I pull up my downloads here and you can see Pearson browser is right here in my downloads for today. Now I can do one of two things. I can right click on it and pin it to my taskbar, which is the middle option there. And that's gonna pin it to the bottom of my screen where my student can find it quickly and easily. The other option would be to highlight it, click on it, and drag it over to desktop. Now you can see desktop is highlighted and underneath it says move to desktop. And that's what I'd like to do. So I'm going to release my click and you can see it's taken it out of downloads and added it to my desktop. Now I'll show you what my desktop looks like so you know what you're looking for on testing day. Here's my desktop. I've got the Pearson browser right here so the student can find it quickly and easily. And then I've also gone ahead and pinned it to my taskbar so that you could see what it looked like if you had chosen that option. So you've got two different options here. Either one is fabulous. You don't need to do both. Just different options for you. Thank you so much for choosing Homeschool Testing Services. We value you as customers and look forward to serving you again in the future. I hope you have a great rest of your day.